Hello, my digital planner friends. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to go over all of the health pages that are included in the digital planners that I create. If you are new here, my name is Brandy Reed and I'm with Renail Faith, where I create digital planners and digital stickers for Christian women. If this is something that's interesting to you, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any video that I produce and hit that like button. It really helps my channel. Thank you so much and let's get into those health, health pages. All right, so here's our index page that is on our planners. This is the 2022 planner, but all of these will be included in any future planners. So let's get ahead and get started. The birthday and anniversary, that's what this page looks like. And you would just zoom in, you know, use either your text tool or your writing tool and write in your birthdays or anniversaries all for the year. Um, let's see. Next will be contacts. So this is basically like an address book. Um, I don't really know that many of us use it digitally like this anymore. Most everybody has it in their phone, but I wanted to include it in case you were the type of person that still wants it. Um, on all of my pages like these, I only add one page, except for this one has a couple of them. Most of them only have one page. If you need to duplicate a page, any page in this planner, you would just come up to that plus sign and hit the plus and hit the, I might've done that too, hit the current page and that will give you a duplicate of that page. And again, like all the others, you just zoom in, you have your pen tool turned on, either use your pen or your text and fill in all the information. Okay, let's go back to the in text. We did contacts, passwords. Uh, this would be for the website, your username and password. Then we have journaling pages. I personally used this when I was studying part of the New Test or the Old Testament, so you can use it for anything. Um, we went over all of the sermon pages or all of the Christian pages in another one, but I will quickly go over them. There's prayer requests, date, name, prayer requests, and answer prayers. Soap. We have scripture, observation, application, and prayer. I'll fill in each of those. Favorite verses, you would write the actual verse here. So like Psalms 21.1 and then what the actual scripture says there. And you have six of those. Sermon notes, you would fill in all this. You would use this for the actual verse and then any notes. Or you can, if you say you have the back of or However your church may do it, your church may have an outline. You can take a picture of the outline and then just add it here, small enough where you can, um, let me just show you that real quick. I think that's important. This is one of my, mine, um, I took the picture, I cropped it, and now I'm gonna make it really small so it just fits right here. And you know, using your two fingers, you can make your planner bigger or smaller to zoom in. And so then I just use, write my, whatever is actually applicable to go there. And then I have all this extra room to write my notes, any extra notes that I want. So that's how I use the sermon notes. Uh, books of the Bible. This one's fun. Um, you can, as you're reading, all of these would be, let's say you're reading Genesis and you just wanna highlight that you've read those you've read Genesis. Um, you can do it that way or you can use the pen tool. Make sure your color fill color is turned on. Pick a pen, draw around it, hold it, and it makes your shape better. And when you let go, it fills in that block. Now, if you don't want the, the darker purple, you can hit this back button and that will take off the outline and so that you just have these. Now, the fun part about this, I'm really excited about this. Okay, turn your pen tool off. And then let's say we want to read Genesis, but we don't have our Bible with us. We don't really want to read on our phone because it's so small, but we have our iPad and we have internet. So you can tap that and hit yes, because you're going to be um, loading BibleGateway.com. Hit yes. And there is BibleGateway.com Genesis 1. So it's the first chapter of the book. And you just slide down and there is Genesis 1. Now, if you need to go to Genesis 2, you just touch that and it goes to Genesis 2. Or 
you can hit this and you can go that way. You can also, if you don't like the NIV version, tap that little button and find whichever Bible that you do want to read. Say you have a particular version that you like. I really, really, really love Bible Gateway. Okay, so that is how that works. So that works on all of the actual books. It does not work on the numbers. The numbers are just there to, for you to highlight so you know how much of the Bible you've read. Okay, let's see. Uh, my prayers, different things. Oh, that's, that was just added in this one for me. Okay, so we went through all of those. The habit tracker. Okay, so we have a habit tracker, 1 through 31. There's little, whoops, good notes glitch. There's little boxes that you can, again, just like we did with the Bible, you can fill in, you know, say you want to um, medicine. And you want to make sure you take your medicine every single day. That's your habit tracker. Okay, then we also have a period tracker. And this is kind of the same way. What you're going to do is, um, if you want to track the length of your period, if you just want to track the length of your period, you can just go in and draw, you know, a box. Well, let's just do it. If you hold it, it makes a box and it fills it in. Or if you don't want it to be filled in because you later want to fill it in, just turn your fill off and hold it and you've got just a regular box. So let's say you want to keep up, you know, with what, um, how long your period is. So maybe you've got boxes all through here through there. You can also lasso it and move it in better. Okay, but we want to keep track of like when it's heavy, when it's medium, light, spotting, you've had headaches or really bad cramps. So you would use that key. So let's say the first day we were spotting. So, oops, made some marks. We're going to say this is our first day and we were spotting. So we're going to fill it in with yellow. Um, the next day, it was kind of yellow. We didn't, we didn't really have a really bad period this month. So the rest of them we filled in with back yellow, but we had really bad cramps. So I would just put a line through that one, that one. We had really bad cramps the first day and we had a really bad headache that day. So that's what that dot is. So that's how you can code it. So, you know, what your periods are doing if you especially if you're running into some problems um or having some issues with your periods then you have this to kind of go back and look on now over here since we filled in january we saw our period cycle was four days so you can put a four in obviously if you do do this you can see it easily on a glance but if you also want to put it on over here too then there's if you have specific things that um relate to you you can write them in here. So like, you know, it's spotting in a color. You can write, um, you know, um, very tired. Very tired. And then I want to fill that in with, let's say, we don't have a green. So I'm going to fill that in with a green. And again, the highlighter works on that too. So we know that this is going to be green for very tired. And that'll just help us um, be able to. So you could even, if you wanted, let's say you had a light period. Oops, I ended up undoing that. Let's, let's undo this. Oops. We had a very light period, but we were very tired that day. So we want to put both in there. You can do that as well. Okay, and then the last one that I have for for the health kind of ones is your measurements. When you're trying to keep up with um, your weight and trying to, you know, just do health things. So we always want to start with something and then one week later do the next. So we would put in our weight here, our bust measurement, our waist measurement, our hip 
our left thigh, our right thigh, our left arm, and our right arm. The reason I added the, the left and the right is for me, they're different. I'm just gonna be honest, they're different. I, and a lot of these trackers just have thigh or arm. And I think that's crazy because mine are different. But maybe it's just me, maybe I'm the crazy one, <laughs> who knows? But I just wanted to include that in my planner, so that's what you are getting as well. Okay, so we went through all of those. Meal planning, you can, obviously this side is where your groceries go, and then you have breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snack. Uh, you can do this a couple of different ways again. Uh, you can do it per week like this, and then fill in each one. This would actually be really good for, not only for groceries, but what you've actually ate if you're trying to track with what you're eating in a day. Yes, we do have it on the daily pages, but it's also um, it's also here for, for if you wanna do it weekly. And again, you can hit that plus sign and hit current page if you need to copy uh, extra pages if you wanna have a bunch of them instead of just the one. Or you can also do this as um, say week one, week two, week three, week four of a month. So that way you can know that, okay, I'm not eating pizza every Friday or or every, once a week if we don't want to. I mean, you may want to. No, no, no saying you can't. But um, if you don't want to be eating the same things every week, this will help show you, okay, we've already had pizza this day and this day. Um, let's not have pizza. Let's grill some burgers or whatever, you know, whatever you guys like to eat. It just helps you give a, a good monthly overview of what you're eating. And then this helps you to, as you're writing your um, your meal plans down, you can just easily add it to your grocery list. Okay, so then we've got the budget. This half is set up as a checkbook register. I kind of like to have this in my planner. I like to always know what's going on. Um, I don't write a lot of checks, but between my husband and I, we do both run our debit cards. So I'm trying to always keep up with where everything's, where our money's at. Um, this, we have week one, two, three, four, five of our budget. These are, you can, like you can write in the date of when you're supposed to get paid. The budget, what we think it's gonna be, what it's actually, and then what the difference is. So let's say, you know, you think you're getting, I'm just gonna say $200. Nobody, I hope nobody gets $200, but well, I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say that. There may be some teenagers using this and they would be getting $200 maybe. So anyway, let's say you actually got $250. So you would put um, a plus, you know, 50. Down here, you would write um, any expenses that you know you have, bills, you know, house payment, car payment, what you think gas is gonna be, uh, groceries is gonna be, anything that you can know that you have on, an, on a monthly basis. Again, you're gonna write what you think the, the total is gonna be, what the actual total was, and the difference. And this, by doing it this way, over time, you're gonna easily see where you can, um, if you're trying to cut things out, or if you're trying to, um, you know, just stay more on top of what you're spending, this, these three columns are really gonna help you to be able to do that. And so here, like we talked about, you this, if you still do write checks, there's a check spot, the transaction, what it is, payment. This line here is for when it clears your bank, you have a deposit, and then your balance. And then there is three of those. I hope I'm not talking too fast. I feel like I'm really talking too fast today. Okay, we got books. These are, um, it comes with books, and I made it books to read. I just added a books to read, the books I wanna read, and then books I've read. Basically, all you do is you take a snapshot of your book and you take a snapshot of your book. And, oh, I'm sorry, lasso. No, picture, we're, we're gonna get this. And then you just resize it to your little rectangle and then you can fill in your stars if you want. I'm just doing this to see how many books I read in a year. Okay. And then we also have a book review. Again, you would put the cover of your book here, the stars, and then what you thought about it, um, the date you started, date you finished, if you want, your favorite quote. And vision board. Um, this is where you would just, you could put pictures, 
You can um, write in it like I did. Uh, just anything that you, usually you want to have pictures, and I did not do the picture uh, version of it this year, but you want to have pictures so you can physically see what you are wanting to do. Um, any goals that you have. Um, so that was vision board goals, and then your dream 100. This one is, it comes with 100 there, and then you just write in. 100 different dreams that you have that you would like to do. And then I just highlighted, I've highlighted the ones that I would like to do this year. Um, I'm seeing that most of them didn't get done so far, but that's okay. And and then I've really highlighted um, fully the things that I have accomplished. Um, I need to go ahead and update this. Usually I do it um, every six months or so. So I didn't do it at six months. I think I just did it at one month and it's just amazing to see what you have accomplished um and things like that uh and i think that's it and then we have uh 10 extra spots where you can add your own things in we have a brain dump section these are all ideas for me oops we have a dot grid we have a square grid. I obviously have things all over the place since I've been using this planner. Aligned. And then a blank. And then you can always just come in here and duplicate the page. And then you can move it. So let's say we're, we duplicate this one. And let's say I needed a blank page after right here. I don't really know. Let's see. Okay, let's say I wanted a blank page. Oops. Wanted a blank page after my um, my period tracker. So what I've done is I've touched it and held it and then just dragged it into place. So now you can see there's my period tracker and now there's a blank page. You want to make sure you duplicate those though because if you don't, then when you go to, where's my blank page? Blank page, it will not go to, it won't link to that because it'll link, the link will be broken and we don't wanna break the, link, the, the links to that. Um, let's see, I'm going to, we'll just go to December. There's a bunch going on. That's what um, this, this particular year's planner looks like. Um, let's see, we are gonna go to December 1st. <coughs> excuse me this is what the daily pages look like for 2022 it may change up a little bit for 2023 when I'm finished creating those but that is and then all of the this is linked this is linked all of these are linked and yeah so that is all the extra pages that come in my planners um all future planners more than likely we'll also have each of these different things. And if you have any questions, let me know. Dream, leave a comment below. And if you liked this video, like seeing all the different planner um, pages. And if you have any ideas of things that you would like added to a planner, let me know that in the comment below also. And so go ahead and like this. Subscribe so you don't miss any planning tips, plan, new planning things. Um, the new planners will be coming out in November. I believe it's November. I'm going to have them launch. Yes, November they're going to be launching. And I'm really excited about those. So you'll definitely want to subscribe so you don't miss that. And I also do have, if you want to check out, there is a free planner that I have. I'll leave that linked in the description below where you can try out my style of planning. It doesn't have everything that the big planners do, but it's a taste. Uh, it has all of the Christian pages, the budget, the meal, the month overview, the habit, the notes, daily journal, uh, the book. This is the, this version of the book review, not the, the full um, one. That is what the month page looks like. The week pages look like that and the daily pages look like that. And then of course it's got, you know, the, the blank and then you've got some extra spots where you can add your own things in. So that is that. 
Uh, go ahead and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.